SpaceX's Starship, known as Flight 3, recently completed an important test, showcasing its power and readiness for the upcoming third test flight. The test involved firing all six Raptor engines while the spacecraft remained stationary at the Starbase site in South Texas. This specific Starship, referred to as Ship 28, is being prepared for its third test flight, expected to take place in the coming weeks. The successful static fire test is a positive sign that the project is on schedule. SpaceX shared the accomplishment on social media, stating, Flight 3 Starship completed a full-duration static fire with all six of its Raptor engines. To understand Starship, it's important to know that it consists of two main parts, a large first-stage booster named Super Heavy and a 165-foot-tall upper-stage spacecraft called Starship. Both components are designed for full and rapid reusability, powered by SpaceX's advanced Raptor engine. Super Heavy has 33 Raptors, while Starship is equipped with six. Starship has undergone two test flights in April and November of the current year. These missions aimed to send the upper stage around Earth with a splashdown target near Hawaii. Unfortunately, both flights faced challenges. The April debut encountered issues with the planned separation of its two stages, leading to the intentional detonation of the vehicle. The second flight achieved successes like stage separation, but ended prematurely with the upper stage, exploding eight minutes after launch. Despite these setbacks, SpaceX is actively preparing for another Starship launch. Ship 28 and its Super Heavy prototype, Booster 10, are undergoing testing. However, the timing of the next launch remains uncertain. SpaceX may need to await a launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, which is conducting an investigation into the issues encountered during Flight 2. The FAA will only grant a license once the inquiry is complete and any necessary corrective actions have been implemented by SpaceX. Blue Origin achieved a triumphant return to space on December 19th, marking the first mission of its new Shepard suborbital vehicle in over 15 months, following a setback in September 2022. Launching from Blue Origin's Launch Site 1 in West Texas at 11.42 a.m. Eastern, New Shepard ascended to a peak altitude of 107 kilometers. The capsule descended under parachutes and safely touched down 10 minutes and 13 seconds later, while the Propulsion Moduli executed a vertical landing using its engine a nearly three minutes earlier. Initially scheduled for December 18, the mission, designated NS-24, encountered a delay due to a ground system issue and faced additional postponements earlier that morning due to cold weather conditions. The actual launch on December 19 proceeded after two brief holds in the countdown attributed to unspecified technical concerns. The NS-24 mission featured 33 payloads, with many provided through NASA's Flight Opportunities Program, facilitating experiments and technology demonstrations on suborbital platforms. Additionally, 38,000 postcards from Club for the Future, an educational nonprofit linked to Blue Origin, were aboard. Notably, this mission was an unmanned one, of paramount significance, NS-24 marked the resurgence of New Shepard after a mishap in September 2022, when an engine anomaly triggered the launch abort motor in the capsule. While the payload carrying capsule landed safely, the propulsion module suffered destruction. A subsequent investigation by Blue Origin, concluded in March, determined that structural failure in the BE-3PM engine nozzle resulted from thermal damage linked to the engine running hotter than anticipated. Despite the completion of the investigation, it took an additional six months for the Federal Aviation Administration to officially close the case and specify 21 corrective actions. Blue Origin had initially stated it would resume flights soon upon concluding the investigation. The resumption finally occurred with NS-24, which carried many payloads initially intended for the NS-23 mission. During the launch webcast, Blue Origin did not explicitly reference the past mishap or the challenges in returning the vehicle to flight. However, it was emphasized that the propulsion module used for NS-24 was on its ninth flight, signifying its history as a booster employed in crewed New Shepard launches. Speculation had circulated regarding the potential de-emphasis or phasing out of New Shepard in favor of other projects like the New Glenn Orbital Launch Vehicle and Blue Moon Lunar Lander. Contrary to these speculations, Blue Origin representatives affirmed their commitment to New Shepard during the webcast. Erica Wagner stated, 
Demand for our flights only continues to grow. We're scaling the fleet, refining our repeatable processes to meet that growing demand. While Blue Origin did not provide detailed insights into these efforts, the company mentioned its ongoing sale of seats for crewed New Shepard flights. To date, Blue Origin has conducted six crewed New Shepard flights, carrying a total of 31 individuals, including one person who flew twice. The most recent crewed flight occurred in August 2022.